PLC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from the company OWC, also known as Other World Computing. And what we have today is pretty cool. This is the Thunderbolt 3 dock. And not only that, it is a 14 port Thunderbolt 3 dock. That is a whole lot of words right there, but it does a whole lot of stuff at the same time. So if you have a MacBook or a Windows PC or anything else that has a Thunderbolt 3 port, this thing can open up so much potential out of one little cable. But let's move further because what we're mostly interested for this exact moment is what's inside the box. So we're going to open up this and see what's inside. What does the actual dock look like and what comes with it? First thing, you get a little document here. It's just a, a single sheet front and back that just kind of gives you a diagram, shows you what's on the dock itself. You have the dock right on top here, nice and shiny. Has a uh, plastic protector sheet at the bottom. You have a huge power brick. I mean, this is like laptop quality huge. It's as big as the dock itself almost. I mean, that is insane. And it's both of them weigh the same as well. Shows you how much power this thing actually packs. Thankfully, you can just hide this underneath your desk. Last but not least, you have a USB Type-C cable or Thunderbolt Type-3 cable, more like, that can also be used as a USB Type-C cable. And that's it. This is all, you're, all you need, really. You have the power brick, the, uh, the actual other half of it that plugs into the wall. You have your dock, a little bit of instructions, and a Thunderbolt 3 cable to get the dock between, or get between the dock and your probably more than likely laptop or desktop, whatever floats your boat. But what's really unique about this is outside of it having 14 ports coming out of a single cable from your system, is it actually has 85 watts dedicated power going to an actual a USB type three port here, which is used to charge you know, mobile devices, smartphones, tablets, laptops even. I mean, that's 85 watts of charging right there. You know, it's, it's way better than fast charging three or anything like that. I mean, that's a lot of juice right there. So it's great for charging your MacBook Pro while this is also connected to it. So while this is plugged into the wall, you got this plugged into it, it's charging your MacBook Pro or your, your computer. Let's say you have a laptop sitting right next to it, you charge that as well coming out of that port and then deal with everything else going around the dock for, you know, I mean, that's the whole point of the dock in general. But the reason why they do that, a dedicated port for USB 3.1 is so that the, all the other ports and the actual Thunderbolt port that's on here is still free to do whatever it needs to do because you can daisy chain up to five devices with this thing, including monitors, display port stuff, uh, additional USB 3.1 devices and so forth. It's pretty crazy. Taking a look at one side at a time, we'll look at the back. Uh, the back side of this, we have one, two, three, four. USB 3.1 type A ports right there for typical peripherals like keyboards and mice and thumb drives and things like that. You have an SPDF out, which is optical audio. You have an ethernet port for, you know, getting some internet going with your setup. You have two Thunderbolt ports right here. And the display one, this can actually hook up to a, or, or can power a 4K display. In fact, this can actually support two 4K displays supposedly connected to it or one 5K display. So that, that has a lot going for it right there alone. Moving forward from there, you have a display port connection. And then of course the plug where it, you know, the wall adapter plugs in and actually it gets all of its juice from. So now I start to understand why this brick is so darn heavy. I mean, feel that, just look at that. It's crazy. On the front side of the hub, you have additional ports. You have a micro SD slot. You have a full size SD slot. So, you know, just, if you're a photographer or, or you just have a lot of devices running around that have SD or micro SD cards, you can just in instantly insert right into the front of the dock and get all your stuff right off of it or transfer things to it. You have a headphone jack, so you can plug in your headphone, which also supports both the headphone and microphone. So if it's a, if it's a three ring uh, TRS connection, then you can actually plug that in there and have a full headset with one single connection plugged into the front side of it. Then you have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 high powered port. And oh wait, that's where you plug in all your devices, of course, we just went over that. And then a, a USB 3.1 Gen 2 type C port, and that's it. 14 ports for this Thunderbolt 3 dock from OWC. Huge brick, because it has a huge amount of potential. And this, this is kind of a downer in a way, is, you know, but at least you can hide that underneath your desk and pretend it doesn't exist. Because this is the only thing that needs to be on your desk, and it's also small, it's got rubberized bottom, it stays put, it's nice, it's cool, and we are gonna test this 
out of this. This is gonna be fun. So go to plcnetwork.net where we're gonna have a full review on this later on once we have a chance to actually field test this and tell you what we think. We'll have a full story about this written up and we'll share everything we can with you including nice close-up shots and everything else you can imagine. And we'll share that link below in the description underneath the video so that you'll know exactly where to go for it. And if you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe. We do have a button down there. We'll also have one to the side of me here in, uh, just shortly. And use the comments. We'd love to hear from you. There's a comment section down there. Please share your voice. And until next time, we hope you'll keep on watching because we got many more videos to come. Until then. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.